What's up guys, this is Daniel and welcome to Season 4, Episode 1 of this Watford series. I'm so excited to get this thing started out for you guys. Um, this is going to be a transfer special episode and as you see, I've kind of spent a little bit more time to separate the basically the footage of me trying to transfer and pursuing players and kind of just so it doesn't get as clumsy with the transitions um, I'm gonna basically gonna have a label for what I am doing as you will see here in a second but I hope you guys are excited for this season go ahead and leave a like on this video at the end if you happen to enjoy it and let me know what you guys think about this new layout for this transfer season so we are going to start out here with the player worth and my listed players on the Watford squad as you see here El Sharawi my most expensive player I bought him for 17 million dollars he is now worth 35 million dollars we have Elm Lucas Piazzone and Sigurd Darsson sitting there at 10 million dollars each it's cr crazy to see there is Danny Green, 17 years old, already 4.3 million. And as you take a look at the other players, um, I do um, some of the players that I've invested in have really progressed, and not only overall but definitely their price. As we scroll down here and take a look at some of the players that I do not normally play, Charles there, my other youth academy player, sitting at 1.3 million at the age of 18. So we're gonna take a look now at the listed players and. Some of you guys might be surprised by this, but I'm going to put Sordell on the transfer list only because I want to invest in Danny Green, and Sordell is not progressing at all, as you guys probably saw from the other episode where he had, I think, one stat increase. Not overall, but one only stat increase the whole season. But we are going to search for a center back. Now, I did take your guys' suggestions um, a lot, but I wanted to show you guys, a lot of you guys said, I would say about 50% of you said Obana, and he is such a beast, but guys, you have to remember, I am in the fourth season right now, and players have progressed, their prices have risen, as we're searching here for um, Angelo Obana, he is so good, but you see their estimated worth and player wage over my transfer budget and wage budget, so I definitely cannot get him. Same thing with Sorensen, uh, a lot of you guys suggested that I buy him, but he is... Um, very pricey as well. I think over 17 million, but man he so if you guys are starting a new career mode Definitely look into him, but as you guys know I suggested Mangala or Benedetti and right now I'm gonna put a bid in for Mangala because I think he fits my you know my type of play better he's a little bit quicker than Simon Benedetti and Also cheaper and I know Simon Benedetti does progress um, a little bit more than Mangala, but for right now I think I can invest in him um, Mangala that being and that he will provide an instant impact into my squad so we're also gonna search for a left mid here if you guys um, didn't know I looking to replace him again and I'm gonna stay patriotic and loyal to my country I'm going to search right now for the beast that is Breck Shea he's very young well not very young but he is an uprising star here in the States and I would love to have a player like him on my team so it's really it's really weird to see though as you look for left mids and left wings it seems that every single person, um, well, I'm not going to say every single one, but 90% of left wingers and left mids do not have that good of finishing. But right there, great acceleration and agility, amazing strength, just an all-around great player. Look at this, aggression, attacking position. He is a stud. Um, I don't know about his haircut. He, he's rocking the mohawk now. But just looking at his skill attributes, his finishing is 76, which is extremely high from all the left wingers and left mids that were within my price range. And just decent stats overall. So I'm going to put in a bid for Breck Shea, and we'll move on and see um, basically what we get from him from FC Dallas. And um, but let me re let me rephrase this. I'm gonna put in a bid to try to get their attention um, to see if they want to sell them or not. As you can see there, this team is short on players in this position. So let's take a look at the club responses for Mangala and Breck Shea. First one coming up is FC Dallas. They do not want to sell this player since they do not have enough depth in this position. Now this is bad. Um, if a play if a team sees their potential in a player and they tell you that that means they want to sell them but you know what you're gonna have to pay big bucks this means that I'm gonna have to do something drastic to gain their attention so I go two mil already over what he's worth just to see if they will have a counter offer for me but we'll get back into Breck Shea here as we take a look at Mangala's FC Porto chief executive response right here bid is rejected and once again they did not um, provide a price for me they say they don't want to sell them because they know their potential so I'm gonna bump this up a mil over what he is worth and you know it's a little bit easier to get someone who they're just aware of his potential rather than 
um, Breck Shea. So here's club responses round two and my first loan offer. As you saw, my players who have been listed in the loan at the beginning of the video right now. I'm a loan for Gavin Massey, and I'm going to try to keep him on my club. He is progressing okay on loan, and maybe I can get a little bit more bang out of my buck, <laughs> depending on how he progresses. But here we go. FC Parto say they want $12 million for Mangala. Now, um, this is a steep price to pay, and so I'm going to try to haggle with him, trying to get this down. But right now, I want to take a look at Brexche, and once again, two mil over what he's worth they're just not going to sell Breck Shea so that is a disappointment I'm not going to be getting him at least for right now maybe in the future um, FC Dallas will pick up another left mid and I can um, put a bid in but as you see here I'm kind of just thinking right now because <laughs> I'm gonna have to switch up my approach basically on who I decide to bid for because the, the people who I'm asking for they just want like 12 million for Mangala, it's kind of ridiculous. So I'm going to do something right here. I'm going to put in a bid for Simon Benedetti just at what he's worth at 9.5 to see um, what I, I believe it's Gubio who he plays for to see what they say about that. So um, I go back to Mangala and I go to the transfer offer and I bump this up a little bit just to haggle. So I have two options right now rather than going for one player, seeing how that works out. If it doesn't work out, then I've wasted my time and I need to approach a different player. So I'm going to take two for the price of one basically and we'll see how this goes so we're gonna take a look more loan offers that I get in um, for the players who I've set up for loan at the beginning of the video Hoban or Hoban I do not know how to say his name correctly even though it looks incredibly easy but he is 20 years old a center back 64 overall um, pretty decent player but I'm gonna send him out on loan again I get an offer for Bonham um, actually this is I believe a this is a purchase offer and it's I mean, this guy's horrible, to be honest. 50 overall, he's not progressing at all, and I decided to sell him to um, Propane Games Career Mode, Crew Alexandra. <laughs> but here we go. This is where things get a little bit spicy. Unexpected offer and club responses. So, as you see here, I get an offer for Mariapa, and he is not even transfer listed. But the thing is, is it 700,000 over what he's worth, and this catches my eye. Um, I'm going to stall this offer because I don't know exactly what I want to do, and I'm not... I haven't received a center back yet, so I'm going to see how Mangala and Simon Benedetti respawn. But as you see here, I'm just not going to get um, Benedetti without paying huge bucks for him. So we're going to try to move on and pursue Mangala with that offer up for Mariapa, basically. So I decide to use that money that um, the Serie A team has offered Mariapa to kind of invest in Mangala. If, if this makes sense, I keep saying Mangala, Mangala, not sure. I'm going to say Mangala, but so this 3.1 million that I'm receiving, I'm going to put towards Mangala and um, investing him into my club, but I need to sign him first, see if the club will let, even let him go. So I'm going to pursue Mangala here. Once again, this is kind of back and forth, but this is really important to my club. I'm going to bump up my offer here to 10.8 million and that is 3.3 million over what he is worth but it's going to take a lot to get him and he's definitely worth it. 6-3 and just an absolute beast and would be pairing well with Win in the back four and right here they say we cannot agree we want 11.5 so I decide to um, I think I decided to go to 11.3 but then I was like you know what, what's 200,000? I'm gonna put up 11.5 and see what they say. Are they gonna sell him? And I get a offer actually for Wichelo right here. And for some reason this offer for Mariapa kept on <laughs> coming up again and again. I keep saying yes, but they just, I don't know if they're stalling. So um, Wichelo goes out on loan to Ipswich Town. And right now, Mangala's final, final decision. You guys probably saw it there. Um, in my email inbox and he decides to come to Watford so I have signed Mangala I'm gonna put in a contract length of five years so he can progress you know with my club I don't want to have him for a short term he's a long-term player that I want to invest in and five years let's see what he says he is all in for that Mangala is now a Watford player the decision is final so Welcome, the first signing of this transfer season. It was a long run to try to get him and um, stuff, but things, once again, get a little bit spicier here. Mariapa attracts Blackburn Rovers, and they put a 3.2 mil bid, which is 100,000 over that of the Serie A club that bid for him. So I decide to accept Blackburn Rovers. I do not know why he is not being sold to the Serie A club, but um, I don't know. I mean, I'll take 100 more thousand, and this... 
you guys will see the final decision here in the next episode, in episode 2. But what I'm going to have to do is, you guys do know that Mariapa was my skipper. He was my captain. So I'm going to change around here, sub Mariapa in for uh, Mangala, obviously. And who am I going to pick for my captain? And I kind of thought about this a while. And as I was thinking I could pick a Loach, I'm going to give the captaincy badge to El Sharawi, that's because he holds that center attacking mid play, he runs the play of Watford, and I think he deserves this captaincy as he does have a lot of room to progress also. So guys, with this said, I'm thinking of a possible, you can't trade players, but here's what I'm thinking, I need your guys' suggestions on this, and this is where you guys come in, and um, hopefully you guys will give me some insight, but you saw there, Redmond is about 5.5 million now as he is a good right mid um, his finishing is lacking a bit and I'm thinking I may want to pick up someone who you guys have been constantly and I, I agree with you guys you guys have been constantly suggesting this player if you guys don't know who it is already it is the ox now he is obviously I mean <laughs> obviously he is also worth 5.5 million so it could do kind of a trade here where I could put Redmond on the transfer list, pick up Oxlade Chamberlain as we take a look at his stats. A little bit better than Redmond, so he also progresses according to FIFAfanatic.com up into the mid 80s. So, guys, let me know what you think about this. Hopefully, you enjoyed the first episode. Now, there's no gameplay, but transfers are so important. Leave a like if you are excited, and I will talk to you guys next episode, which will feature some transfers. The first friendly, maybe the second friendly, also, guys. Leave a like, please. It helps the series grow, and I thank you guys so much for your support. Talk to you guys in episode two. Peace.